Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to cover another topic around delayed screen refresh. Let me first read the question. How can you use the delayed screen refresh button in the computer vision wizard? That is a sim very simple question. Now, I am going to show you some of the practicals around this so that you get better understanding. Next, I am going to go through the documentation. After all of this, we are going to answer this question. So hope you are ready. Let's get started. Now the very first thing, let's do a bit of practical around this. The very first thing, let us drag and drop the CV screen scope activity. Okay. Now to experiment this, all you do, open RPA challenge website. And I'm going to separate it from all the tabs and keep it individual so that it becomes quite easy. I'll go to Yapa Studio, click on indicate on screen. Okay. And I'm going to keep my mouse pointer on the corner and allow it to take the screenshot or the take the image and it's going to process using the neural network server. And you can see after processing, it has detected all the UI elements. So this is fine. Let me hit on escape. The next thing we are going to do is drag and drop a CV click activity. Okay. Now I'm going to click on indicate on scope. Before that, look at this page. This page, if I scroll slightly down, there is something called download Excel. But initially when you launch, when you refresh the page on my screen, on my screen, you can see it is slightly hidden. And when I'm pointing out this UI element, which is download Excel is hidden, right? If you see this, the download Excel UI element has not been detected. Now, what is this delayed screen refresh? I'm going to show you. I'm going to hit on indicate on scope. And here, give it few seconds, this window would come. And in this, there is a element here called delayed screen refresh. What this does, first thing, if you are on your computer, read this particular rectangle box. Let me read it for you. It says, if you use this button after a short delay to get the application into right state, that means it will give you an option to scroll down. Now, if you see, I am not able to scroll down. It is only showing this specific element initially selected by the CV screen scope, right? For example, if I hit on escape, look at this. This is the only image that is selected. And when you use any other activity under the screen scope activity, it is just showing what has been selected in the primary one, okay, in the CV screen. Now let me hit on indicate on scope once again wait for few seconds and you can see it has highlighted that specific area. Now I would like to scroll down, but it is not allowing me to do it. Now this delayed screen refresh will allow me to do it. So click on this delayed screen refresh and it tells you auto scrolling runtime support. Okay. So auto scrolling can happen even during runtime. Now I'm designing this is the design time, but again, during runtime also it will automatically scroll and click on it. That is the meaning of this. Let me click on OK and I'm going to scroll. Do you see the moment I'm scrolled, the three has started and you know, it is counting. So, so let me show you again. Okay. So once again, let me do it. So delayed screen refresh. Okay. And I'm going to scroll. You can see the countdown had started and now it is giving me the option. So let me click on this. Okay. So what happened now? This is a new image. So this has become a new image. And if I click on uh, this particular button and so you can see a new image. Now, if you see how many screenshots are there now in total, two screenshots, the first screenshot, this one where we didn't have that button. And if I go to the second screenshot, you can see in the second screenshot, I have the button. So sometimes your application is quite longer. And in the first screenshot, which was taken, might have not detected that element. So this delayed screen helps you to scroll down and pick
pick that element which was not initially detected by the CV screen scope. Getting it? So what happened finally when I did this, the button got selected and also a new screenshot got added in the scope. Getting it? Okay. Now let me also show you a couple of properties. If you highlight this and look at the property, it said number of scrolls. So you have done two scrolls, but you know in your application only one scroll is enough. Initially it is like, so one scroll is good enough. I don't have to do two scrolls, right? Now for that, what you can do, you can come here and always modify these properties. Number of scrolls, I have made it to one. Okay, if any question comes, the application requires three scrolls. Which property of the CV click activity you should change? So you should know number of scrolls. Here you have to put three. Getting it? Now scroll direction. Because it is in the down, then you have to select down. So if any question comes like this in the exam, so you know how to select the properties from here. Okay. And there is also something called delay screenshot. That means you would like to take a screenshot of that. Right. If you read it, delay time in milliseconds after executing the scroll and before taking the screenshot. So if you are scrolling that in between two milliseconds, I would like to give after that it should take a screenshot. That is the meaning. So it is if you want, you can just mention it something like this. Okay, 2000 uh, milliseconds, which is like two seconds. Getting it now, if I'm going to run this, look at it, what's going to happen? Let me run it. So you should click on the download Excel. Okay. So I'm bringing up some easy websites for on which you can probably try to experiment. Okay. Okay. Now let me see if it has downloaded. If I go here, you can see uh, challenge.xlx. Okay. Just now it got downloaded. So it is working fine. Getting it. So this is what the use of delayed refresh. Let me just refresh the screen. Okay. This is how it was. Let us run it again just to see. Okay, you can see it has scrolled down and then it's supposed to click on the button. It has done the job. If I go back here again on the page, you can see it got downloaded. Getting it? Okay, so it is working fine. Now let us go and read the documentation and get prepared for the exam question. Now delayed screen refresh. The delayed screen refresh button performs a refresh of the target app after waiting for three seconds. You just saw that, right? The circle came. It wait for three seconds, three, two, one. So that is what, okay? Target app after waiting for three seconds. Okay, performs a refresh of the target app after waiting for three seconds. The runtime auto scroll direction is also captured. You saw, right? The runtime auto scroll, like we, I went down of the page, so it said down. So all these things are auto captured and you have the option to come here and change it. So all these things got auto captured, scroll down number two initially. So I came here and changed it based on my need. Okay. So this is the, this is the important point. The delayed screen refresh hotkey button performs a refresh of the target app after waiting for three seconds. So let's highlight this waiting for three seconds. Remember this. That runtime auto scroll direction is also captured. Okay, this is also important point. Now let us answer the question. So, what is the question? How can you use the delayed screen refresh button in the computer vision visual to delay the execution of the current action until the user manually allows it? No, this is wrong. To synchronize multiple screen refreshes simultaneously with a three second delay. Are you doing multiple screen refresh? No. It is only one screen, right? So this is also wrong. To pause the computer vision analysis for specified period of time before assuming. It's not specified. It is always three seconds. To perform a refresh of the target app with a three second delay. Getting it? This is what target app after waiting for three seconds. So the answer is to perform a refresh of the target app with three seconds delay. Now I'm going to create few more questions. Let's see how many of you can answer them. So here are few questions on the delayed screen refresh. The very first question, what are the main differences between the screen refresh and delayed screen refresh? See, this is a question. I think you were expecting this question. What is 
the difference between the screen refresh and the delayed screen refresh in UiPath computer vision activities. Select all that apply. So this is a multiple choice question. Okay. Now read it carefully. Both screen refresh and delayed screen refresh have the same purpose. Do you agree with this statement? B. Screen refresh is used during design time while delayed screen refresh is used at runtime. So during design time you are using screen refresh and delayed screen refresh what you have used actually in the design time but it works at runtime. Right? Does it scroll during your runtime? Yes. So is it the right answer? Option number C. Delayed screen refresh captures the runtime auto scroll direction. Auto scroll direction means is it going down or up? How are you scrolling? Is it capturing that? Whereas screen, screen refresh does not. Is it the right answer? D. Screen refresh waits for 3 seconds. Does this screen refresh wait for 3 seconds before refreshing? While delayed screen refresh refreshes immediately. Now the answers are quite clear. What I want, answer me. Comment in the comment section of the video. What are your answers? Even though you go wrong, please do not worry. It is okay because you have a chance to rectify or correct your answers, right? So what is the answer here? So let me reveal the answer. The answers are B, screen refresh. This is one. It does the screen refresh is used during design time. Yes. While delayed screen refresh is used. You know, when you use it during the runtime, actually it scrolls down and clicks on the specified button, right? Or whatever you are designing it for. The next is delayed screen refresh captures the runtime. Correct. Runtime auto scroll direction is captured. I showed you in the practicals. Whereas the screen refresh does not. Even this is the right. So B and C are the right answers. Great. Now let's read the next question. What does the delayed screen refresh in UiPath's computer vision activities do? And what additional information is captured during this action? So it is clearly on the delayed refresh. There is no comparison. It is simply saying what it does, right? What is the additional information captured during the action? It instantly refreshes the target app screen and captures the mouse cursor position. Okay, is it is it the right answer? No. Next, it captures a screenshot of the entire screen and logs the time of the refresh action. Does it do that? C. It waits for three seconds before refreshing the target app screen and captures the runtime auto scroll direction. Okay, it waits for three seconds before. Is it right? Now, if you look at button performs a refresh of the target app after waiting. This we have read it right. So our answer is, is it C? It initiates a full screen recording of the target app actions and identifies changes in the application interface. So what is the right answer? So the right answer is C. It waits for three seconds before refreshing the target app screen. Now let me know in the comment section how many of you are correct. If you are correct, simply type I was right. I was able to guess the answers right. So type your comment. I will love to read them. Thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.